Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We want to take you guys on a journey with us on our trip to Africa, the motherland, and I will be voicing over and taking you through that experience. So sit back and enjoy the video. Here we are guys getting ready to board the plane uh, and this is us landing in New York. This is us uh, walking around New York. New York is actually a great, uh, the JFK airport is huge, it's great, it's a lot of stuff to do in there. Um, this is us looking for something to eat in that airport. Um, the pizza place didn't look all that appealing so I ended up eating from this one place I think I'll show you here coming up in a second and Kanita chose I think she'd actually ate from that place there um, it has tons of different shopping uh, places in JFK we had never been to JFK Airport so as you can see the Dior store uh, they had Gucci uh, Mac Chanel pretty much anything designer that you can think of was inside of the JFK airport um, later on in the clip you will see Kanita uh, purchasing some um, makeup from the Mac store and then we were just kind of pretty much making our way through all the different stores we had a little bit of a layover here I think it was about three hours three and a half hours so we were just pretty much sightseeing uh, getting a little footage and just you know like I said we had never been there so we were pretty much exploring the JFK airport as you can see they got the Gucci store the glasses uh, the Ray-Bans Tom Ford um, Saint Laurent I mean uh, everything that you can think of was inside of this uh, JFK airport Chanel uh, so we did explore quite a bit um, like I said we were there for a few hours uh, so from there, yeah, there you see Kina purchasing her makeup from the Mac store, getting ready. And it was crazy is when you purchase from those stores, they don't let you carry it out with you. You purchase it and then they meet you with your product at the gate. So when you load the gate or get onto the gate, you'll say your name or show your ID and then they'll give you your merchandise that you have purchased. Um, you do avoid taxes, I believe. Um, I don't know why they do that. But anyway, this is us leaving. It was nighttime by the time we left. Again, we had a three and a half hour layover. So we were uh, taken off in the air. That Most of the rides or the flights were, uh, they were decent. There wasn't too much turbulence. This was when we arrived in London. There was a guy uh, bringing us everybody that was going to Nairobi. Um, on the connecting flight because the London airport is so big he pretty much guided all of us I think it was five or six of us um, from that flight going to Nairobi and then once again you see in London they got the same setup they got the Dior uh, watches of Switzerland any and everything that you can think of as far as designer was inside of this airport I believe the London airport was actually more uh, more things and bigger inside of this airport um, so he took us to the gate there was a bus that we rode uh, from from the gate or I guess to the gate so you get on the bus and then it takes you actually yeah from the gate to the plane uh, so from here we're actually walking up the plane uh, there's only very few times that I've actually done this loaded an airplane like this and this was one of them um, like I say, we rode, you didn't see the footage, but we rode quite some ways um, to get to the plane. And here we are loading the aircraft. These international planes, if you guys have never taken an international flight, are bigger than the average uh, Boeing plane that you would get on. And as you can see here, there's three, three roads. So there is a lot of turbulence on this flight. This is our last flight to we get to um, Nairobi.
guys, as you can see, Kanita there talking about her excitement as we get ready to uh, near landing on to the motherland. We weren't too far away. Um, and it's crazy because when you're in the air, it goes from day to night when you cross over the time zones. Uh, so here we are. Um, we've landed in Nairobi and we get down off the plane and then you get onto a little bus just like in London. And then the bus carries you over uh, to where you would go to customs, I guess, and then collect your bags and then move on from there. Um, it was quite a bit of people on the plane. Uh, it was very exciting, guys. It was it was different. It was new to us. We were tired. We had flown for almost 24 hours. Um, and then this is us getting into the international uh, arrivals area of Nairobi, Kenya. And just to know that we were on the motherland was a trip. Uh, I, there was ATMs right there. Uh, you could see folks nearing the passport control area where you would have to see the customs and then get your passport stamped. It's crazy. This is my first international trip, you guys. Um, Kanita's went to Canada before, um, and her passport was stamped for Canada, but I had never left the country before, so my very first international trip was to Nairobi, Kenya. That was us, um, the very front when you first get out. And then this is when you catch your taxi. We were in a taxi, and it's like a movie theater up top leaving um, the airport, and they show like the safari, and the different things um, that Africa offers. Now, one thing that is a negative, <laughs> I would say, about Nairobi, Kenya, and even the Kenyans would agree, is as you can see the driving right here, everybody starts moving in all at one time. This is something Kanita and I have never experienced. And going back to Nairobi, um, even if we live there, because we've talked about that, we would never drive there. I would possibly own a car there, but I would have a driver. The driving experience in Nairobi, Kenya is quite different, you guys. Um, it's not like structured like the States. So when you get over there, everybody kind of goes at once and kind of whoever's in the front uh, goes. I know it's kind of weird. And I mean, they miss each other by millimeters. You would think there's going to be an accident and they all know how to drive like that. Um, this is just a small snippet of what you would see. And this is like they're driving very slow and then they're they're leaving the airport. But on the streets, uh, th first of all, the driving, the steering was on the right side of the vehicle. And then on top of that, there's a lot of motorbikes over there, guys. They do a lot of motorbike taxis uh, and things of that nature. And there's also a lot of pedestrians on the street. So what you see on the street is cars everywhere, motorbikes everywhere, and pedestrians everywhere. And you would think it would be more accidents or we didn't see one single accident. We didn't see nobody run over or anything like that. Uh, but from the first glance, you would think it would be chaos and it would be accidents everywhere and people run over everywhere. And that's actually not the case. It's uh, organized chaos, I guess, if you will. And they know how to deal with it. So if you got an international driver's license and you go over there thinking you're going to drive, you might want to sit back and watch for a while because it definitely ain't no joke. Uh, this is the like the little expressway leaving the airport. We're headed to our Airbnb and we thought we would just film some of the infrastructure or the infrastructure so you can kind of just see what Africa looks like you know what I mean they do have um, it is very modern I will say in Nairobi Kenya um, so there's going to be fast foods that we're used to there's Subway over there there is Burger King I think you may see one coming up shortly here um, you can see that hotel building so a lot of what people have been told or shown on Africa is not what you really think uh, there's a Burger King there and Nairobi Kenya is quite modern um, a lot of folks are saying it's the New York City of Africa uh, Nairobi Kenya is East Africa and again it's quite modern um, so as you will see more throughout the video it's it's not a very big change thank you Asante okay
you guys, we are pooped, okay? 24 hours, finally made it to Kenya. We finally got, made it. Got our new friends and... That's our friend Amos. Amos? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Be with you. We are happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right here. Okay, so we right off the elevator. Boom. And in we go. So where's the light? Boom. All right, you guys, so. Yep, I got it. One second, Amos. One second. You guys, this is a view that I wanted to show you off of the balcony that we had in our Airbnb. We were on the ninth floor and it overlooked quite a bit of the city. So you can see all of that here. Uh, quite beautiful, actually. You know what I'm saying? So when you see this at night, uh, we'll also throw in a picture of the daytime. Uh, so you can see that as well. But yeah, it was really nice overlooking all of that on the ninth floor, I would say. So we wanted to show you guys the Airbnb, um, how modern it is over in Kenya. A lot of people don't think that the Airbnbs or places even look like this. They think it's all huts, uh, you know, living in the village, in the jungle. And that is not the case, you guys. It's very modern. Modern. Uh, this Airbnb was very nice. It was a two bedroom. You can see it has a washer there. They do hang their clothes outside. Um, if you live there, you could uh, purchase a dryer. Um, but most folks do hang their clothes, so they'll wash them, and then they'll hang them outside. Um, but you, you can see the kitchen here is quite modern. There's a microwave, there's a water dispenser, um, hot running water in the sink. You see the, the table set up there. Um, again, it was a two-bedroom. So to the right was the first bedroom there on the right. Uh, the door directly in the front was the bathroom, as you see here. Nice, nice bathroom, you guys very modern um, take a look here the fixtures were nice again hot water uh, look at that backsplash behind that toilet this was a very decent bathroom the whole airbnb overall was very decent and i do believe uh, that this airbnb for 10 days was 650 dollars which is not bad and uh, this place was called siaya park apartments s-i-a-y-a -A, uh, park apartments and it was about five or six high rises to complete the whole building um, different different separate high rises uh, we were in the c high rise um, so this is the first bedroom there's the closet and there's a little shelf on the side holding the iron here's the bed there's lighting above the bed there's an ironing board those are international plugs you guys when you guys go out of the country uh, do your research on where you're going and what plugs they have we did bring connectors for that so we could use our our uh, devices and things that we needed so we were well equipped for that um, this bathroom that door opens up to the main bathroom it would be shared um, again, nice bathroom, nice first bedroom. And then we slide over here to the master bedroom. And as you can see, no difference. It's very nice as well. Um, we're going to show you here the, the bathroom uh, first. Give you a little peek at the room really quick. And then back up and then show you that bathroom. That bathroom is pretty much exactly the same as the first bathroom. Very nice, very modern hot running water um, the fixtures were nice for the shower big overhead um, it was quite pleasant it was quite pleasant you guys to to stay in this airbnb um, it was just like being at home but we was on the motherland in Nairobi, kenya there's the bed it came with a fan there is no ac but it doesn't get really hot there um, and the fan would would do it again if you lived here they do sell acs they don't come in most places but to have an AC installed, to purchase it and have it installed would not be expensive. Again, everything here is cheap, guys. So 
the plane tickets may be a little expensive to get over there but once you get over there i mean everything is cheap we rolled all the way across town for seven dollars in an uber and i'm talking a 30 minute ride so wherever you live in your city you know what that uber costs would would be and it wouldn't be seven dollars um, that's the view off the main bedroom and then we're going to bring you back out and show you the rest. There's the closet for that side. Again, those international plugs we did come ready. Um, we had like a, like three of them um, that we had got off of Amazon. And each country, some countries have different uh, fixtures or outlet, uh, whatchamacalls. So you may want to do your research and then purchase uh, what you need according for, for your needs. Um, there's the closet again. Um, towels. You know, they had it well equipped for us. So then we're gonna bring you back out to the front, show you the living room again. There's the dining table. This is a nice little two bedroom again. And I think to like purchase this would be like 50,000, I think, or something. Don't don't quote me, something somewhere around there. About 50,000, 50, 60,000 to purchase and own this unit in that building, which is not quite bad at all, to the truth. Uh, so they had it dressed up for us real nice. Again, you see the microwave, you see all of the appliances, blender, um, it came with dishes and all that stuff, a water dispenser. You will want to drink uh, purified water out there. And then uh, it came with Wi-Fi. That black thing was a thing to call down to the front desk, speak to the security. The security was A1, guys. Uh, very nice gentleman working down. In the we just wanted to show you guys our experience. Stay tuned for the very next video. Thanks for watching.